ba yan? Pag may tumugas ng puno. Yan. yan. So, experiment number five. Conservation of energy. You ba? Two, palong yung problem. Objective. One, calculate speed or height from information about a different position. This Number two, describe how different gravity fields affect the predictions. So, yan, start na po tayo. Number one. Play with the pictures shown to the right and the purple dot data to understand what the data means. Then, A, explore the values change when you move the PE or potential reference line. So, yeah. Ayan. Ito yung, ano, yung reference line. Yung inaangat baba. So, nung, ano, miss, nung pinag ano na in explore po namin the height of this meter is directly proportional to the potential energy meaning the higher the height the greater the potential energy for the skater and vice versa our group decided that from the height of the skater but positive c the potential energy is 3 3 3,441.3 joules. As you can see in the picture above, naglagay po kami this down ng picture. Now, when we decrease the height of this skater from zero, then we've noticed that the amount of potential energy is also decreasing, proving that the height is really direct, directly proportional to PE. Next. We, uh, ano, Wilmar pa basa po. Uh, the greater than the greater the mass of the skater, the greater the poten potential it gets at its maximum height. Le laser mass means less energy required for producing the same effect on a ramp. Energy decrease with the mass. Okay, ba? Uh, okay, so explain what is what is means by the value called high. So, ito po yung ano namin. Uh, sample, high is equals 10.10 .10 .10 meter. Tama? Then, speed is 1.42 milliseconds. For example, a height of 10.10 .10 m equals to distance traveled by skater tra traveling at 1.4 milliseconds because an item's gravitational potential is proposed proportional to its height above zero. The height of skate skater of the and the gravitational power is the uh, according to the graph above. The track is horizontal horizontally curved in meters and pupils were able to determine that the 10.10 m height is similar to the distance traveled by the individual using the simul simulations. The skater cover 10.10 .10 meter in 1.4 milliseconds. So for number two, ano, Leonard pa basa nga. Consider the following situation. You put the skater on a truck, show path and display the purple dot data. How could you predict the values for another place on the truck? A. Describe what you would have to measure. The values that need to be measured in the simulation are the potential energy, kinetic energy, thermal energy, and speed. Potential energy is the energy at rest. As the skater moves along the track, his potential energy change. Kinetic energy is the energy at motion and same for, in same for potential, it changes based on the position of the skater along the track. Thermal energy is caused by friction, like potential energy and kinetic energy. It change based on the position of the skater. Lastly, is the speed. This is the distance of the object with respect to time and the same for the energies. It also change. Yeah. So for letter B, show an example of your proposed calculation. Each value. K, E, P, E, P, E, and speed. So, miss, naglagay po kami doon ng 
ano po namin, example po, which are kinetic energy is equal to 21 joule, our potential energy is equal to 29.2915.5 joules, and our thermal energy is zero. So for the letter C, test your, your ideas include a screen capture with the purple dot shown for both points that show, shows that your cal calculation is correct. Show a corrected example of calculation if the data didn't match your ideas. So, Miss, ang ano po namin, nung tinray po namin siya, as we observe, na screenshot na po namin siya, we observed that the only thing that didn't match po in our solution is, in letter B, is the potential energy. Because, Miss, ang ano po namin dun, the height change based in what place that uh, that we put the skateboarder in track. Meaning this, ano, hindi po kasi, ano, constant ko saan namin siya na i, ano, kumbaga na iuhulog, kaya nagbabago po yung potential energy. So, number three. You ba? Uh, three. Describe what you think will change in your calculation if you move the skater to Jupiter. Describe what you would have to measure. In the simulation, the following are needed to be measured. Potential, kinetic, and thermal energies. Friction, and lastly, uh, speed. The potential energy is, de is defined as the energy at rest as, as relation to the skater moving along the track. His or her potential energy changes and varies from different positions. Moreover, Kinetic ener energy is defined as energy in motion and likewise changes as the skater moves. On the other hand, friction is the force that generates heat as surface rubs together, result resulting in thermal energy, which, like potential and kinetic energy, varies depending on the skater's position. Lastly, Speed is defined as the as the distance of an object with respect of time, and it changes as the energ energies does do. These energies and speed are present in Jupiter, but the results but the results will be different because Jupiter has a greater gravitational pull. So, as shown in letter B, yun po yung formula namin, and Kuya Wilmer, letter C po. Okay po. So for letter C, test your ideas and include a screen capture with the purple that data show the su to support your calculations or show corrected examples. So pinakita po namin dito yung example. Then yung answer namin. Then comparing the Earth's and Jupiter gravity, we can obviously see the Jupiter gravity with 24.8 meters. 0.8 milli. Tama ba? Millisecond squared is meter much higher than 9 point meter per second squared. It's much higher than 9.8 meter per second squared gravity on Earth. Making the skate, skater in Jupiter is faster and has more values in potential kinetic, terminal energy, and speed. There is a greater pool of gravity in Jupiter. That's, that's why it, it is faster in the area. Yeah. So, letter D, Leonard. Of Michael Leonard. Of How do your calculation change if you take the skater to the moon? Test your ideas and correct if necessary. Moon has, least, moon has the least gravity, 1.m meter per second and lowest among the area given in the simulation. The calculation above shows that the skater is slower, slowest in the moon and gets and gets more slower as time goes by. The formula used was equal to this to the result in the simulation. Yeah. So to end with our conclusion, our conclusion for me is calculated the speed or height from the information to a different position will give us different values on the said information to arrive at the right answer. 
the higher the height, the lower the speed, the lower the height, the faster the speed, and the higher the height, the faster the speed, and so on, which will which can conclude us on an information about a different position. Because gravity is the force that pulls us from a specific center, different gravity fields will affect the prediction of one movement from one place to another. If there is no little to no little or to no gravity, the object of our person will not be pulled from a specific center and will float away. Whereas if there is a lot of gravity, the prediction of an object movement will have more move, movement on the base. With increased speed, there will be more movement between the ground and the height. So that is all for me. Thank you. Thank you, Pomis. Thank you, ma'am. Then, Miss, um, one of our group mates po, are, ano, is unable po to ano, makasama po with our call kasi meron po siyang pinuntahan. Yun lang po, Miss. Salamat po. Bye-bye. Salamat po. Stop recording.